Hey guys, it's Misty. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create an animated Bitmoji banner that you can use in your Canvas homepage. Now, I do ask for a little bit of grace and patience with this, as this is only my second time to do this, and I'm attempting to make this video while I go through these steps. So there may be a few pauses or a few little hiccups, but I'm going to do my best to get through this as seamlessly as possible. All right. So I'm going to need two different things. I'm going to need my drive, and I'm going to need this website called talltweets.com. I've already signed in to Tall Tweets, and you can see here that it's connected to my Google Drive because it says Select Presentation. I just used my LEISD, I signed in with Google, and it connected to my drive. All right, so I'm going to go back to my drive, and I'm going to say New Google Slide. And it's going to default to just the traditional Google Slide blank presentation. I do not want to use a template or a theme. I'm just going to close that out. And I also don't want these text boxes. I just want a blank presentation. And then I need to adjust this because right now that does not look like a banner. So I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to go to Page Setup. And I'm going to go to Custom. And I'm going to change this to Pixels. And I want this to be 800 by let's say 200 not 5200 200 I'm gonna say apply alright so now you can see that that has made that a long rectangle it looks much more like a banner than it did before alright then I'm gonna go to background and I'm gonna say choose image and I'm going to go to Google image search and I'm gonna type in floor and wall background and here's a bunch of different floors and walls. You can scroll through this until you find one that you like that, you know, like that looks like a very traditional classroom. Or you can uh, be more specific and say classroom. Just find one that you like and when you find one that you like, go ahead and click on the image and then say insert and it will pop it in as your background image. So it's a little bit distorted but that's okay. All right. Now, I need to add different items to make my, my office space, basically. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to say Insert Image, and I'm going to say Search the Web. I'm going to start by typing in Transparent, because I don't want it to have a white box around it. So I'm going to say Transparent Desk. And then when I find one that I like... I'm just going to click and say insert and then I'm going to drag it around I can resize it okay and then I'm just going to repeat that And I can send it back so that it's kind of behind my chair, behind my desk. Okay, I'm going to pause here as I just continue to add items to my little classroom. But all I'm doing is going to insert, image, search the web, transparent, and then whatever I'm looking for. You can even insert like, you know, little pictures of your own uh, animals and things like that and then make little frames if you want to. So for this time I'm going to say upload from computer. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to my photos. And I'm going to go to my puppy pics. And let's say I want that one. Okay, that's pretty big, but I can resize that, shrink it down. And then if I want, I can even put like a little box around it. To make it like it's in a frame, I just need to adjust so that it's transparent, but that it has a line okay. 
Okay, so now I have a little picture on my wall of my dog. You can do that same thing for your family. Again, just kind of keep going until it looks the way you want it to look. You'll notice that I added a whiteboard, so I'm actually going to come in here and add a text box right there to, oops, I'm going to add a text box right here and say welcome back. And then because that's a text box, I can kind of format this text, make it look more like handwriting. Okay. All right. Okay. Now that I'm happy with the way my actual office space looks, I'm going to start adding in my Bitmojis. So I actually have the Bitmoji extension already added for Chrome, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to find a Bitmoji that I want. Okay. And I'm going to say save as, and download it, and might look for other ones too. Let's just see. If I see anything else, All right, let's just start with those for now, if I decide I want one of the ones. All right, so I'm going to still go ahead and come back here and do insert image, and this time I'm going to upload from my computer. And I'm going to add the Bitmoji that I just, I'm just going to resize that a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to start out over here. And then what I want to do now is I'm going to duplicate my slide. So duplicate my slide. Then I'm going to click on my Bitmoji and I'm going to arrow it over. Then I'm going to duplicate my slide, arrow over, duplicate slide, arrow, arrow over, duplicate slide, arrow over. Duplicate slide, arrow over, duplicate slide, arrow over, duplicate slide, arrow over. Okay, you get the idea. Now let's say I want to go ahead and duplicate my slide and I want to actually change out my Bitmoji. So this time I'm going to replace the image and I'm going to choose the walk one. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and arrow over, then I'm going to duplicate the slide, walk, duplicate the slide, walk, duplicate the slide, walk, duplicate the slide, walk. Okay. So I, I paused recording there so you didn't see, but I actually did a lot of them. You wouldn't have to do that many. You could always make your Bitmoji take a couple of more steps, or you could have it do flips or fly. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my tall tweets, and I'm going to say select presentation, which I need to give this presentation a name. This is Bitmoji Banner for Canvas. And that should be searching my drive now. I'm going to select that. I just double clicked. And again, this is my first time using this, so we will see how this comes out. Okay. 
So there it it did take a while to load. I actually refreshed and did it again, just full disclosure there. But um, it did take a minute for it to load. So uh, I want it to be image width. I want it to be 800 pixels. Slide duration like oh, 0.25. I want it to be pretty fast. We'll have to see. I'll have to play around with this a little bit. Sequence of slides. I don't know. I'm going to just say... Let's just create GIF and see what happens. Oh wait, so there's my GIF. You can see it moving across the screen right here. All right, and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna download it. Okay, and it downloaded here. And now I'm gonna go to my Canvas course. I'm going to go to my, I'll go to my sandbox, I'm going to go to my sandbox, and I'm going to make a page, I'm going to click here, and I'm actually going to do an image, and say upload image, because you can do GIFs, I'm going to pop that in. And see it moving. I'm gonna say submit. Then I'm gonna resize it in Canvas. I want it to be custom. I want it to be 800 by uh, 200. Hmm. Don't know why it's doing that, but let's just see what happens. There we go. That was too fast for it. All right, and then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to say save. And there you go. There is an animated banner for your Canvas page using Bitmojis. That worked out pretty well. Although I will say, I can see that I resized my images and I got a little bigger between uh, the bullhorn and the walk. But that's okay. <laughs> Play around with that and um, have fun figuring out how to use a Bitmoji in your Canvas course if that's something that you are wanting to do. Let me know if you have any questions.